Okay, Amy, can you hear me okay? Your microphone is off, Amy. There we go. <laughs> there we go. That might help, eh? That's better. Yeah, I can hear you perfectly. Fantastic. Right, I can see the students logging on. Can you see? Okay. Yeah. Okay. No right. coming in. That's it. We will start at 11. Okay, so we have a few minutes for people to join. Okay. I can see a few of our students there. Very nice to have you with us. Okay. Right, so Amy, I'm just going to get up on the screen then uh, our material. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, okay. Right, compartir. And is that right? Yeah, perfect. Okay. Right, so. I can see Anna with her hand up. Remember, okay, that you can use the chat box, okay, to communicate with us. And we will have some time at the end of this webinar to answer any questions. Okay, right. We have a few more minutes. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, again, I can see a few more familiar names. Very nice to have you. This is different to a class maybe that you're used to. You will have the chance to communicate with us at the end, okay. I wonder if our own students have experience with this. They'll be able to tell us soon. <laughs> Looking forward to finding out. Yes, yes, it's interesting, okay. Right, again, I have to allow them a few minutes, obviously, to log on. Mm -hmm. We will see a few of these words, right, Amy? Let's see how many people are punctual. Maybe yeah. <laughs> it is your job interview to be punctual is necessary. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Arrive on time or allow yourself some time before. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, I can see some of the people uh, joining. Right, so yes, uh, for the people watching, I think on your screen, you do have the option below to write questions, but we will see that at the end, okay? We'll walk you through, mm -hmm. through this uh, presentation and allow some question time at the end. Okay, right. What's the time, Amy? Okay, it is. Oh, we have one more minute. One more minute TikTok. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, again, I can see a few familiar names mm -hmm. uh, popping up on the screen. Welcome. Although you can't interact yet, you will <laughs> be able to at the end. Okay, right. Okay. okay. So it is time, but we'll give them a, a minute or two. We do have different things that we're going to discuss. We will show you shortly, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yes. They're all feeding through now. They're, they're on right <laughs> on time, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. On the nose, on the nose. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Again, some names are familiar, some mm. are new. It's lovely to have you here. Okay. We also, we do have a lot uh, to get through, so we won't leave it too much longer. Also, just uh, for you to know, uh, you will have the question round at the end and during the presentation you'll have some questions to answer possibly okay okay maybe amy oh i can see the chat box going 
everyone. Yes, hello, welcome. <laughs> but uh, we will check that chat at the end, okay? So any questions you have? I mean, you can write your questions in the chat box, but we won't answer them until the end, okay? If you'd like to take note of any questions that you have, please write them in the chat box. And at the end of this uh, webinar, we will answer any questions that you have. Mm -hmm. Okay, right, let's introduce ourselves, Amy. So, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, as you can see on my screen, my name is Amy. I'm Amy Moore and I am a teacher here at English World Centre, as some of you know. Yes, and my name isn't English World Centre. English World Centre <laughs> is the name of this academy that we've prepared the webinar. My name is Charlotte, okay, Charlotte Copley, and I also teach here at English World Centre, and Amy is my colleague. Okay, so we're going to start this webinar. The topic is job interviews. It's a big topic, right, Amy? Yes, definitely. <laughs> Got so much information to give out here. Okay, right. So let's start. First, we're going to explain um, what different things we're going to uh, see, right, on mm -hmm. the index. Okay, just a second. There we go. There we are. So, we're going to start off with a quick introduction to the topic. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'll start working on preparing, right, for this interview in English. So we must have a look at some vocabulary, some keywords to help you, things that maybe you can include if you're mm -hmm. doing a job interview in English. Another big thing is advice. We'd like to give you some advice on what you should do and maybe what you shouldn't, right? What mm -hmm. is maybe what isn't so good. Then uh, we will focus on the most commonly asked questions. Mm -hmm. What else, Amy? Then with those most commonly asked questions, we're going to do a role play where Charlotte is going to be the interviewer and I will be the interviewee. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to continue speaking about some useful language, mm -hmm. followed by some more tips and ending with that question round that we were speaking about before. Yes, so uh, anybody who is connecting that maybe wasn't right on time, the question part we will leave to the end, okay? So any questions you have, feel free to write them in the chat box, but both Amy and I will check them at the end of this webinar. Okay, Amy, let's get into it. So introduction, the first, uh, slide right let's have a mm -hmm. look okay so it says do you have a job interview coming up so now before we discuss this mm -hmm. for the people watching i'm going to send you a question okay so you will see a question on your screen amy you will see it also <laughs> okay <laughs> okay so i'm going to start this question now Fantastic, it's popped up on my screen, so it should have popped up on the audience's screen also. Fantastic, so tell us, tell us uh, the answer to your question. <laughs> Not yet, come on, I hope I have some answers. Oh, okay, mixed <laughs> answers here. So your question, I will read it, is do you have a job interview soon? Because coming up means that it's soon, that it's mm -hmm. in the near future, right? So I can see some answers here of, yes, I do. Oh. Okay. But I can see a lot of, no, I don't. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but, well, maybe you don't have one yet, but you will probably or could have one uh, in the future, right? Okay, I'm going to finish that vote. Now, I'm going to ask you all a second question, okay? Let's see. So, let's go. So, this one is focusing on English, right? Mm. So you have done an interview in English. We are interested to know your experiences. Oh, very interesting, Amy. This mm -hmm. is obviously I will tell you what I can see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, so here there are three options, right? All of you have on your screen three options. This is all anonymous, but well, I have the answers. So have you ever done an interview in English? So past experience, right? I have, yes, I have is the most popular answer, which is very interesting. Aww. We will see um, if they have possibly used some of this uh, vocabulary that we will discuss. Mm -hmm. The next is no, I haven't. Uh, it's pretty mixed. There are more. Yes, I have. But there are also people that don't have one yet, but soon in the uh, near future, they may have an interview in English. Fantastic. So we'll be able to help these people that have interviews coming up. Exciting. Okay, right. So one more question before we start. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. There is one more because we'd like to know with current times. Okay, I'm going to start the votes. But in current times, mm. maybe people will be doing interviews like we are doing now, right? On an online platform. Mm -hmm. so online platform, virtual platform. Let's see. Also, I yeah. think lots of people have experience, right? Working from home during this uh, year or for some part of the year. So it's something that we are, most of us are used to, but maybe not doing an interview. Okay, so the majority here is no, I haven't, okay. Uh -huh. But I'm talking about past experience, right? So this might be they haven't, but well, if they do have an interview soon, maybe it's, it could be on a virtual platform. Mm -hmm. Only two people have said yes. So again, we will see later in the tips if they agree with us or if they have any other tips they can leave. Yeah, certainly. Them in the chat box. Okay, well, thank you very much everyone for voting. Now we can have a look at what we are going to say. <laughs> okay. yeah. so, do you have a job interview coming up? All of you will see on the screen there that we have 37%, right? <laughs> so 37% is uh, people that have a second language, right, on their CV, have a 37% better chance of getting a, a job interview right because maybe that second language is English or another one but English is an important language in today's world right especially with all of this online okay so the first question was will your um, interview be in English right so it's just come on the screen. Will the interview be in English? Some of you have said yes, some of you have said no, or maybe soon in the future. So yes, having English or a second language is a good thing to have on your CV. So Amy, how can English help you get your dream job? Wow, if you know English, that is going to increase the possibility, your chance of being able to work abroad. Because as we know, English is one of the most used languages. So that also increases the possibility of working maybe from home, like we were speaking about before, mm -hmm. or simply inside of Spain for a multinational company. Mm -hmm. okay. And it's also very likely that you could be up for promotions. They're going to be looking for people that speak English quite possibly. Okay, so yes, you could maybe get a better position uh, in the company. And yes, working abroad, that's an exciting uh, possibility, right? Okay, so yes, let's have a look now at some vocabulary, right? That will help yes. us uh, prepare. Okay, let's have a look. So the first thing we're going to do, Amy, mm -hmm. says... We have some vocabulary about character traits, okay? So I'm going to get here on the screen. What is character trait? What is a character trait, Amy? Okay, so a character trait is these words that we have up above it in the orange rectangles. They describe your behavior. 
Okay, yes, so uh, how you behave, right? Your, mm -hmm. your personality even, okay. Right, so let's start, Amy. The first one is, Mike doesn't mind stress. Not a lot of people have this, right? <laughs> no, certainly not. <laughs> Mike doesn't mind stress, it's okay for him. In fact, it helps him to work better so, Amy, from the words above, how would you describe um, Mike? Well, it sounds to me like Mike is someone who is able to work under pressure. Okay, yes. So having that stress element, right? Uh, mm -hmm. He can work under pressure. Okay. Okay. Following on, Charlotte, we have Julie. Julie is always sitting at her desk when everybody else arrives in the office. How would you describe her? Okay, so as I was saying maybe before, the people who arrived mm -hmm. on all time, the same as Julie, if she arrives and is already sitting at her desk when the other people arrive, Julie is punctual, right? Uh, she arrives when she needs to, or even maybe a bit before. Mm -hmm. Right, so what about Julio, Amy? It says, mm -hmm. Julio wants to be chairman of his company one day. Okay, so that sounds to me like he is ambitious. He has his sights set on getting a promotion. Mm, okay, chairman is a, a big position, right, in the company. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, following on, we have Dave. Dave hardly ever makes mistakes. He double checks all his calculations. Okay, hardly ever. This is a good word. Casi, casi nunca, right? Hardly yeah. ever makes mistakes. He double checks all his calculations. So this is very careful. Mm -hmm. I have this tendency. I always double check and check and triple check. <laughs> 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 okay right so what about betty it says betty keeps making the same silly mistakes mm. for example she often misspells clients names in her emails hmm so well firstly what's misspells charlotte okay good question so misspell I think we all know spell to spell your name mm -hmm. so if you misspell something you're spelling it wrong incorrectly right I will get this mm -hmm. up on the screen for you so yes to misspell for example maybe in in, in Spanish right the G mm -hmm. the J's okay mm -hmm. okay so yes what what is Betty well, in that case, Betty is probably a little bit careless. Mm. So opposite um, to Dave, right? She doesn't pay that attention that she needs maybe to check, uh, yeah. double check. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And lastly, we have Carlo. Carlo always supports his colleagues and accepts their advice. Okay, so uh, this is fantastic. Mm. Carlo sounds like a good man. <laughs> yeah. So uh, he is able to work in a team, I would say. He's a team player. It's very, mm. very important. Uh, teamwork is much easier than doing everything by yourself. Okay, so interesting words that you could use to describe yourself, right? Because Tell me about you or tell me about yourself is very, very uh, typically asked, right? In a job, mm -hmm. so to say you're ambitious, or I'm very punctual, careful, I'm a team player, all mm -hmm. good qualities. Okay, more, more keywords, Amy. So passionate about, can you tell me an example? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, to be passionate about something, as we can see on the slide, we have the example of, I am passionate about teaching. Mm -hmm. So it is something you love doing. It is something that you are happy to be doing. 
Yes, and it's uh, a good word, right? If an employer yes. or interviewer hears this, it's um, it's a good word to have uh, prepared, right? Certainly. And the next one is eager. Mm -hmm. eager. I am eager to do something. So, for example, as I have recently graduated, I am eager to put into practice my knowledge. So to be eager, you want to. Um, maybe in your interview, if they ask you about your experience, but you, have, you haven't really much experience because you're newly qualified, this is a great word maybe to, to have. I'm eager to start. I'm eager to put into practice all of my uh, knowledge. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's the next one, Amy? The next one we have is motivated. I am motivated when I work on the deadlines. So this is a great word to use because you're going to let your employer know that you are prepared, you're ready to get started. You are motivated. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Deadline also is a word you will hear a lot maybe in the working mm -hmm. world right if you have a certain date that you need to do something for this is your deadline okay so the next one is efficient this is also a key word our employers want efficient workers so if you have to describe yourself you could say i would say that i am an efficient worker okay okay fantastic following on we have develop. I am interested in developing new skills in this position. So this way you could let employers know that you're always prepared to continue with developing your skills, so learning new skills. Yeah, absolutely, to always continue. Okay, and the last one is responsible. So I am responsible for something. The example is, in my previous job, I was responsible for the customer service department. So if you were responsible, it shows that management may be uh, qualities that you have. And it's definitely something to, to let your employer, future employer know, right? Okay. So yes, we have a good collection there of words that you should bear in mind, take into account. If you are one of those people that said, yes, I do have an interview coming up soon. Okay, Amy, let's continue. Hmm. So what's next? So now we're gonna run through some do's and don'ts. So some things that are good to do in an interview or good to talk about, others that, not so much they're not so great avoid right yeah, <laughs> yeah. avoid at all costs okay <laughs> right so amy the first one says these are all answers right so we need yeah. to decide if this is a good answer to a question they ask you mm -hmm. so the first one is i'm looking for new challenges amy is that positive or Yes, yes, this is a good answer. This is a good thing to say, like we were speaking about previously, to let them know that you are prepared to continue with your development in skills. Okay. The next one we have, Charlotte, is I'm really nervous. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no. But uh, I would say, no, uh, don't say this, right? Don't mm -hmm. say this. But also I'd like to say that it's very normal for us all to feel nervous. I think mm -hmm. it is considered one of the most nervous or nerve wracking experiences we have in our lives. But let's not say that, right? <laughs> yeah, certainly. I mean, we are all human after all, but it's not stating it outright. No. Okay, so the next one, Amy, is how much will I earn? Okay, well, you see, this is a bit of a tricky one because mm -hmm. it's yes, but no. And okay. we'll get into <laughs> that in one of the following slides. 
Okay, yes, that's also important. Uh, in the following uh, slides, we will go into more detail, right, Amy? Or yeah. why maybe this isn't good, why it's bad advice or a bad thing to say, or why it is considered a good thing to say. Right, so yes, money, right? How much mm -hmm. will I earn? What is my salary? Yeah. Okay. Following, we have in the short term, I want to develop my sales skills and gain more experience in selling. Okay, so I would say that this is a very positive thing to say. It's showing maybe your employer that you want, you have goals, you have ambitions, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, right. And the next one, Amy, is my weakness is that I work too hard. Okay. No, this isn't a great thing to say, although it is a tip that we hear quite often, you know, when you get asked for a weakness to actually say a strength, but we'll see why we don't quite agree with this tip okay. in a moment, okay? So, following on, we have, I really need this job. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so yes, um, this sounds very desperate right so yeah no don't say this right don't say this uh because maybe you're not the employer is not focusing on your skills just that you just want this job you need it through desperation mm -hmm. okay the next one is i work quite well under pressure i find it very motivating okay yes this is a good thing to say is a good statement to give because you're explaining the reasons behind why you work well under pressure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, following on, we have my current boss is horrible. Oh, Amy, you're giving me all the negative ones. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, my current boss means the boss I have now, right? Mm. So my current boss is horrible. Oh, um, we don't want to say negative things really, right? In our job interview. So we will explain this in more detail in the next slide. But yes, let's not focus on, on the negative things. Okay. The next one, Amy, is no, I don't have any questions for you. Okay, yeah, this is another thing that's not great to say because it just seems like you're not prepared for your job interview. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yes, mm -hmm. uh, have a question, right? At least, yeah. Um, do your research. Yeah. Okay. And the last one we have is, I love the idea of free snacks on Friday. Okay, <laughs> who wouldn't, right? <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> but uh, again, this is not something you would say uh, during your job interview. Maybe you could say it to your colleague. I might tell you this, Amy. But, yeah. But um, not in the job interview, you want to focus not on what the maybe company is providing you, but what the company does. Of course, you need to know the, the different aspects of the job, but not on this type of uh, aspect. Okay, so we have all of those thumbs up, thumbs down. Let's go into more detail now. <laughs> so we have here the do's and the don'ts. So focusing first on what you should do. Um, say so Amy I'm really nervous why shouldn't we say this okay like we were saying previously stating outright I'm really nervous is just going to give off the impression that you don't have any confidence so it's just not a great thing to say like we were saying the nerves are going to be there but you just have to try and not let it show Hmm. So yeah, confidence, as you said, it's what the employer is looking for. So you don't really want to show the opposite. Okay. So now we have our tricky one, one that was yes and no. So okay. the question is, how much will I earn? 
Okay, so yes, why is this a yes and a no? So how much will I earn? How much money are you going to receive? To earn is the money you receive when you work. So although it's maybe not something you want to focus on at the beginning of your interview, it says if you don't know your potential salary, so you go to your job interview, but you don't know anything about this part, it says, Okay, you, you need to know, but maybe not uh, to begin with, right? Not too early in your interview, because maybe they get the opinion that that's all you're focused on. So you shouldn't leave your job interview not knowing this. So if it's not mentioned, you can ask maybe at the end of your interview, you can discuss this money side to the job, right? It says, salary negotiations should wait till until the end of the interview mm -hmm. so yes you can ask this but timing is key right <laughs> yeah. don't start with this or too early in the in that job interview okay right so the next uh set is the first one my weakness is that i work too hard so what's up with this one amy Okay, so this one just sounds like a rehearsed stock answer and more experienced interviewers will know this trick. So our tip for you guys is when you get asked about a weakness to say a real weakness, but one that isn't so important for the job, the one that isn't related to the position you are going for. Okay, yes, uh, good advice. I know that we have all heard this, right? Tell them a weakness that is really a strength, but we all know this and the interviewers all know this too, right? So yeah. maybe think of something that just isn't related to the job that you're applying for. Okay. Well, so yeah. following on, we have the, I love the idea of free snacks on Fridays. Oh, Amy, it's making me hungry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the foodie in me is like, oh, but that's great. <laughs> okay, it says, don't mention, so don't talk about how much you like some of the company's benefits like free snacks it's just not something that's very important right so in your time that you're doing the job interview it's not something to focus on the interviewer will think that you don't care about other important aspects maybe of the company or of the position mm -hmm. okay right so moving on amy to the last set of questions that's or answers that we shouldn't give Mm -hmm. So the first one is, I really need this job. Yeah, as we were saying before, this just sounds desperate. And desperation is normally seen as a sign of weakness. And that is definitely something that we want to avoid in a job interview. Um, obviously, there are occasions where you do really need the job. But instead of stating it outright, you just want to show your passion for that job in other areas exactly exactly the same as with nerves right although you yeah. might feel this mm -hmm. don't face them okay okay so my current boss is horrible oh god hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so um here it says never criticize a former former means a past okay mm -hmm. boss or company or, or colleague even, okay? Um, we don't really want to focus on these negative aspects, right? Uh, in your job interview, you want to mm, promote what was good and what you've learned and how you did in past experiences without focusing on, on negatives. It says, it's not classy. They won't appreciate you doing that and it will make you sound negative. You want a positive environment when you're doing your job interview. Okay, so the last one on this don't, okay. <laughs> no, I don't have any questions for you. 
Okay, well, the problem here, as we were saying previously, is that it just seems like you are unprepared for your interview. Nowadays, it's super easy to just look up some information about the company so you can have a few questions prepared mm -hmm. to ask your interviewer. Yes, I think it really makes a difference, right? They see that you're interested uh, in the job. Okay, right. So enough negatives. Let's go on to the positives, right? Yes, <laughs> yes. Some positivity, please. Okay, so these are take note, everyone, what you should be doing. Mm -hmm. Right. So the first one is I'm looking for new challenges. So um, what could they ask you, Amy? Okay, well, a possible question and one that is asked often is why did you leave your last employment? So here, a way to keep it positive is to say, I'm looking for new challenges. So mm -hmm. instead of focusing on all that negativity that we were just speaking about, yes. say, no, I'm looking for something different. I'm looking for new challenges. Okay, good advice. Yes, we want to stay away from uh, focusing on the negative. So this is a, a great answer. Okay. Following on, we have our kind of difficult one, our yes, but no. So the how much will I earn? Yes, um, you're giving all the money ones to me, Amy. <laughs> I am a true a Brit. Brit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they may ask you, as we said before, they may ask you about your uh, salary, right? So mm. how much do you expect to earn? So it's possible that either you have to mention this, you have to this, um, talk about it in your job interview, or the interviewer will ask you, okay, so how much do you expect to earn? So I have some tips here coming up now. Amy, okay. Okay, so, so we have to be prepared to talk about previous jobs and why you stopped working there because obviously interviewers are going to want to get as much information as possible mm -hmm. so past experience mm -hmm. and don't be afraid to discuss money okay. it can be a bit of an awkward topic but mm -hmm. it has to be done yes yes so um focus on the positives of the last mm -hmm. employment and be prepared right to discuss money okay there are some more do's here so the next one is, Amy, I work quite well under pressure. I find it motivating. So mm. what type of question could they ask? So here we have a possible question of how do you deal with a heavy workload? Because often in jobs, we have lots of different activities that we have to get through with mm. lots of different deadlines. So mm. possibly making it a statement along the lines of I work quite well under pressure I find it motivating mm -hmm. let them know that you are able to multitask that you'll be able to dedicate the time it's needed for each task okay yeah fantastic uh heavy workload I think lots of jobs uh, involve this so yeah. maybe discussing deadlines as you said if they know that you do work well with these specific time frames it's a positive um quality okay following on we have in the short term i want to develop my sales skills and gain more experience in selling charlotte okay. yes so i mean here you're talking about your goals right or even your ambition so mm -hmm. To say that I want to develop, this is always positive, not I just want to do the same as what I'm doing now. No, I want to learn new skills and I want to gain, achieve or get more experience in selling. I think this is a, a very positive um, answer. Okay, so the tips here are speak about your multitasking skills. So prioritizing is an element, right? When you have a heavy workload, a lot of tasks, a little time. Mm -hmm. And think about your goals for the short and long term, because another very commonly asked question is, where do you see yourself in five years time, in 10 years time? The mm -hmm. dreaded questions, okay? Yeah. So 
Okay, think about that, right? Being prepared uh, and related to the job obviously you're applying for. Okay, right. So those are all of the do's and don'ts. What's next? All right, now we're going to follow on with the what are the most commonly asked questions. So we're going to have a look at some questions. But before we do that, we're going to see what types of questions these can be. Okay, so let's have a look. The first one is questions about why you should be hired. So to be hired is to get a job, right? To be employed. So why should it be you, right? You need to talk about your qualities and why you are the best person for this position. Okay, what else, Amy? Okay. Also, we have questions about management and teamwork. Okay, they want to know if you work well with your colleagues. Obviously, it's very important in any job. Mm -hmm. Okay, very true. Another area is your qualifications. Um, obviously, this is uh, a must. They will look at this uh, to see if you're qualified to do the job. So you need to be prepared to explain how, what qualifications you have, all of your studies, different courses that you've done. Okay, what else? Oh, we also have questions about leaving your previous job. So as we were speaking about before, all your past experiences, they're gonna want to know as much as they can. Yes, stay positive, right, Amy? <laughs> yes, always. Okay, right. And questions about you. Mm -hmm. so as we were discussing, right, Amy, in the first slides, those different qualities about uh, being able to work in a team or being mm -hmm. punctual, being ambitious, being passionate. These are all things that you can describe yourself, how to describe, mm -hmm. right, yourself. Okay, so these are all of the different areas maybe of mm -hmm. questions that they could ask us. But now let's get into the specifics. Amy, I'm sure our viewers want to know what these questions <laughs> are, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what are the most commonly asked questions? Do you know? I'm sure they are thinking of some and mm -hmm. I'm sure they will be right. So the first one is, what is it? Tell me about yourself. Okay. Oh. So we've prepared them, right? We've prepared them with the vocabulary for this question. Okay, the next one is, why do you want to work here? Again, mm -hmm. what qualities do you have uh, that apply to this position? What's the next one, Amy? So we have is, why are you leaving your current job? Okay, so that's where we will keep positive always. Mm -hmm. Every cloud has a silver lining, so. Uh -huh. Also be careful with current, okay? Meaning the job you have now. Mm. Okay, the next one is, what are your greatest strengths? Okay. And along with that, we have its counterpart. Mm. What are your greatest weaknesses? Okay, right. Are you ready, Amy? <laughs> yes. Okay, so for this part, I am going to take the role of being the interviewer. So I <laughs> maybe own a company or I am part of a company. And Amy is going to be the interviewee, meaning that she is applying for the job and she is taking this job interview with me. <laughs> so... Um, I just like to mention that there are a few words here highlighted that we will look at into in more detail after. Okay, for now I'm going to interview Amy. She's a bit nervous. She's not going to tell me. <laughs> so let's. Start. Okay, tell me about yourself. Well, currently I'm working part time as a customer service assistant in a large company. My main duties include dealing with customer queries and complaints, either on the phone or by email. And when I'm not working, I like to go to the gym, watch films at the cinema and go out to eat with my family and friends. 
Okay, fantastic answer, very complete. So Amy has spoken about herself in a professional way and also she has her private personal life. So she's given me some information there too. Mm -hmm. Okay, next question. So why, why do you want to work here? As I have recently completed a degree in business studies, I feel that I would like to put into practice what I've learned the profile of your company offers some interesting prospects. In addition, I would like the opportunity to use English on a daily basis. So your company's international clientele really excites me. Okay, fantastic. Very good. Recently completed a degree. Great. She wants to put into practice. Okay, great answer. Right, my next question for you is why? Are you leaving your current job? I'm looking for an opportunity that gives me the ability to build closer long term relationship with clients. Moreover, I want to work for a company which values new and innovative business ideas. OK, very positive answer, Amy. Well done. <laughs> OK, and what are your greatest strengths? I'm a natural problem solver. I find it rewarding to dig deep and uncover solutions to challenges. It's like solving a puzzle. It's something I've always excelled at and something I enjoy. Fantastic, fantastic answer again. Something that's key, remember also to the job you're applying for. Okay, so with strengths, what are your greatest weaknesses? Earlier in my career, I noticed that because I was so enthusiastic about my work, I had a tendency to say yes, when I really should have been saying no. At one point, I ended up so overwhelmed by my workload. I was working evenings and weekends. It was so stressful. Now I've learned to manage my time more efficiently. Okay, a strong, confident answer also, fantastic. Okay, so with those five commonly asked questions, as I said before, let's have a little look at some of this vocabulary, right? So I would like to just say that you will have this information after this webinar. And for now, Amy and I will focus on the words and synonyms, but you do have a translation and example here. <laughs> so the first word, Amy. First one we have is currently so this one sort of we should have a little flashing light there's a little warning yes. with this one because <laughs> it means at present and it's not the same as saying actually yes okay be very careful with that one with spanish speakers okay it's a false mm. friend here so currently at present now okay yeah. the next word is query maybe a word that you don't see on a day-to-day -day basis, but you would in a business um, situation. So a query is a, a question or a doubt. I have a query. Hmm. Okay, what's the next one? Next one we have is main duties. So main duties, these are your responsibilities, the things that you are in charge of, the things that you are doing for the company. Okay. All right, so the next one is, I feel that, so this is just a synonym of, instead of saying, I think, I think, I think, we have a tendency, right, to use the yeah. same verb. So I believe, or I feel that, synonyms. Okay, let's continue. So the next one, Amy. Next one we have is put into practice. Mm. So this is to apply. So that knowledge that you have, you want to put it into practice. You want to apply it to the job. Okay, fantastic. The next one is prospects, right? Mm -hmm. different prospects, different possibilities, opportunity, even a chance to practice your English at work, possibly. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one, Amy? Probably what we have, build relationships. So to make connections, so getting to know either your colleagues or the clientele of any business. Okay. okay. Another great word in there was a problem solver. <laughs> really, this is very specific, right? If you yeah. are a problem 
over. You, for any problems that may or issues that come up, you are able to think of solutions. <laughs> okay, right. Last section, Amy. Rewarding. Mm -hmm. Rewarding. So, it's a possible synonym for this is satisfying. Mm -hmm. So. Is like that sense of achievement, that happiness that you feel for a job well done or any other set of stuff. I think as teachers, right, Amy, when uh, students do well, it's rewarding, right? You have that feeling. Yeah. Great. Okay. Yeah. The next okay. one is Excel at. So I guess uh, most students will be familiar with to be good at something mm -hmm. but take it one step further right say no i excel i'm excellent at <laughs> yes yeah you excel okay what else following up we have enthusiastic so this means to be eager keen passionate so you're most likely going to be enthusiastic over the job in your interview you'll be excited about it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, the last one was overwhelmed. This is a word that Amy said in the weaknesses. So to feel overwhelmed is that feeling of it's too much, it's affecting you, okay? So yes, overwhelmed. So well, as I said, all of this information you will have uh, when we finish to look in more detail. Okay, Amy, what's next? We have a couple more tips. Yes. Or especially for those going up for interviews soon yes. things to keep in mind so mm -hmm. starting off we have it says 90 seconds mm -hmm. did you know the majority of interviewers make up their minds in the first few minutes this is shocking right yeah <laughs> yeah okay. not not wanting to add to the nerves but yes. you definitely have to give off a good first impression Yes, okay, especially if, yes, 90 seconds. Um, be confident, go for it, right? Yeah. Right, along those lines, uh, smile, <laughs> okay? Sometimes just smiling. Uh, it says employers generally opt for, so they choose, they opt <laughs> for candidates who have a good, friendly nature. And this is especially important in some positions, right? Especially if you yeah, deal yeah. with the public. So just smiling is uh, something easy that you can do that will help you with your job interview. Easily said, but sometimes it's uh, hard if we are nervous, but something to, to take into account. <laughs> what else? Okay. Well, next it says, information is power. Find out some background information on the company. As we have stated previously, this is a great idea because it shows that, one, you've prepared for your interview, and two, you really are eager to get the position. You are enthusiastic about it. Yeah, I think, as we said before, right, Amy, don't say, no, I don't have any questions for you, right? No, information is power, right? Mm -hmm. Find out some information so that you can ask and show that enthusiasm, as you said. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? What else have we got? Uh, uh, prepare. Mm -hmm. Be prepared, right? So yeah. Going for an interview is a nerve wracking experience. You are going to feel nervous. Everybody does. So the more prepared you are, the calmer you will feel. So practice, practice with a friend or somebody you know, so that you feel more comfortable with some of these questions. Um, but practice. Do not learn, do not memorize your answers because it sounds very robotic. Also, mm -hmm. it could make you more nervous if you think, oh no, I, what's the next word? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely something that can backfire massively. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. and um, it's very noticeable, right? When somebody has learnt their answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the last one, Amy, 
Last one we have is connection. So when we started, we asked whether you had an interview coming up that could possibly be either here on Zoom, like our webinar, or on a different website. So is your interview going to take place on a virtual platform? A stable internet connection is vital. Also, test the platform first. We can check the microphone. So it's very important, as we know, to have mm. the best connection you can. So plugging mm. that Ethernet cable into your laptop, having a few trial runs, just to yeah. make sure that nothing that's in your hands can go wrong. Yeah, <laughs> it's already a nerve wracking experience. So you don't want to add to those nerves having maybe some technical difficulties, right? If you know and you're familiar with the platform, it will relax you a bit more also. <laughs> okay, right, great tip. So, Amy, we need to invite the questions from our audience, okay? So yes. let's have a little look at the chat box. Feel free, anyone, of any questions that you have to write them down in the chat box. Also, I'd like to ask you if you have any tips or anything that uh, to add to what we have uh, discussed. Mm -hmm. I can see here that we've been asked if they will be able to have this presentation. So. Uh, the answer is yes. <laughs> yes, of course. Yes. Um, and when this webinar finishes, um, there will be a post on our blog, okay? So you'll have to check the blog because there will be a post which will include the link to watch this webinar again, mm -hmm. the presentation for you to have, and also, if there are any questions that are unanswered, we will include uh, FAQs, right? Frequently yeah. asked questions. Mm -hmm. okay, I can see here, um, Nels, my tip to be honest with your real skills. Okay, that's really important, right? Mm -hmm. Don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lie on your interview because it will come back to <laughs> to haunt you, right? <laughs> yeah, certainly, certainly will. Especially it can be with skills, with your language, right? Your abilities, because mm. I mean, if we focus this on English, I think lots of people have or have obtained um, certificates to certify their level. Although it is important, right? To keep uh, practicing, as we said, uh, practice makes perfect, right? To keep yeah. that thing, yeah. Okay, but well, it can be with language or any skill. Don't say that you excel at, I don't know, at technology <laughs> or, <Excel. laughs> or, or something. <laughs> yeah. really you you have some knowledge about, but maybe not mm. excellent, right? Yeah true that you want to to sell right your abilities and and mm -hmm. say who you are i think another good thing to mention when you describe yourself possibly is to be a quick learner right yes maybe certainly. you don't have all of these skills but i am a quick learner and i'm passionate about the position I am willing, dispuesto, right? I am willing to uh, learn and put into practice all of these new skills. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Write them down in the chat box and we'll answer them for you. I don't think mm -hmm. I've, I've missed any. So it's uh, interesting to know then that some of these uh, students or the audience do have interviews coming up soon. In yeah. English. I wonder how they feel. The people that do have English interviews coming soon, how do you feel? Do you feel ready, prepared? Mm -hmm. Nervous, everyone is nervous. <laughs> <laughs> It is something that you can do. You just need to, again, it's uh, easy to say, don't be nervous, uh, but it's hard to control. But well, practice, right? As we said before, mm -hmm. 
if you are prepared and you practice, this will make you feel uh, calmer. Also, um, it's interesting that maybe some of these students or audience have interviews, maybe not in English, but if English is on their interview, on their CV, sorry, they might have two interviews. They might have an initial interview in Spanish or whatever the language is that they speak. And then a second interview in English to test their level. Mm -hmm. It depends, right, what the job is that they're applying for. If they're going to be using English on a daily basis, this is more important or, or not. Okay. Any questions, write them down in the chat box. Uh, I'm taking this as a compliment, Amy, maybe we <laughs> very clearly. <laughs> I hope so. And hopefully those that have interviews coming up have got some useful tips out of this webinar. Yes, I think um, obviously that vocabulary at the beginning and that's why practice is key, right? If you practice with it, you'll mm -hmm. feel comfortable using words like I'm passionate about teaching or I'm eager to learn new skills because yeah. I am looking for new challenges, right? A challenge, something maybe that's new, you're, you're applying for a new field, you don't have all of the knowledge, but well, I am eager, right, to learn, I'm willing, I'm a quick <laughs> learner. <laughs> yeah. All of these words are, are key, right? They're, they're all positives. The interviewer will be ticking. <laughs> yeah. If you're, if you're smiling too, you, you've won. <laughs> You'll win them over. <laughs> okay. Right. So as I said, any questions that you have, type them up in the chat box. If necessary, we will include an F. AQ, so frequently asked questions along with the blog post for you to be able to see these answers. So yes, um, the blog post, let me go on to the next slide, will be on our website, okay? So on the website, it's the name of the academy, www.englishworldcenter.com and you go to the section of blog so within the next uh in the short term right uh yeah. shortly shortly you will see uh the link for you to be able to watch listen to amy and i our pronunciation i hope you've had a master class there <laughs> and uh it's right important to listen as well as maybe see the visuals. Uh, but yes, we will attach this presentation also. So you do have, as we said before, right? The examples, maybe the Spanish translation, it's mm -hmm. six words, but if you see it in an example, it's much uh, clearer or easier to remember, right? Yeah. Okay, so well, um, I'd like to say thank you, right, to our audience. Thank you for attending, for spending this time with uh, both of us. Uh, we hope that you found this webinar interesting. Also, in the box, if you have any ideas for future webinars, let us know. We are happy to continue doing these. I'd also like you to find us on social media. We also upload things there have a Facebook page, an Instagram page. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I've just seen a question before we finalize. Are you thinking yeah. CV webinar? Ooh, maybe that's something we could also discuss, right? Going through a CV, <laughs> the good, the bad, the interesting, <laughs> all the boring, okay. <laughs> yes, okay. Thank you for that idea. We will take notes. Okay, so yes, as I said before, um, check out our blog post and mm -hmm. check out all of these social platforms for us to, to keep in touch, right? And any ideas are welcome. Okay, well, thank you very much for attending. Thank you, Amy, for helping me along uh, with this. It's my pleasure. Thank <laughs> you, Charlotte lovely way to spend my morning <laughs> right see she's winning points <laughs> okay thank you very much for everyone who has attended and we will see you soon hopefully bye bye, bye.